everyone, and welcome back to Mountaineer Sports Talk, where we talk everything college sports, but especially the old golden blue, the Mountaineer Sports. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to make like a quick thing before we do the video. Uh, we see your comments, and we appreciate it. So thanks for all the love. Shout out to Kuz's Corner, because I that mm -hmm. was a cool comment. And Joey Foster. Like, thank you for all the love, guys. Anyway, uh, so let's get into the video. Okay, so uh, we are talking about uh, the... Well, not the Neil Brown situation, but should basically should we? Uh, is Neil Brown worth? Is Neil it? is Neil Brown basically like worth keeping, or is, or is Neil Brown worth it? Uh, that's what this video is about, guys. Um, we we decided to make this video. This is gonna be a West Virginia video, by the way. So if you're not a yeah, West Virginia, if you're not fan, a West Virginia fan, just you know you can keep watching, but it's a West Virginia video. Yeah. So uh, the, so Neil Brown. This is just to basically just go over how we feel about Neil Brown now. And and ba basically that, and uh, we're gonna also talk about his stats, uh, his recruiting over the year. We're not gonna count twenty nineteen, by the way. We'll count his twenty nineteen record, but we're not gonna count his twenty nineteen like uh, recruiting class because that one doesn't really count because that was his first year and he didn't technically recruit those guys really at all. Now it's twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty one. 2022 and 2023 makes sense, but that 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 one does not. So we're not going to be counting that one. But okay, so let's get started. So uh, first, let's let's go over the uh, his overall. So Neil Brown, Neil Brown is basically uh, 17 and 18 overall. He went five and seven in 2019. 2020 and six uh, in 2020 he went six and four. In 2021 he went six and seven. He won a bowl in 2020, 2020, and then he lost in 2021. So his overall record is obviously 17 and 18. So overall-wise, he has done horrible. Not great at all. Be very mediocre as a coach. He basically just oh, gets yeah. the six wins. Yep. And, and for West Virginia as a program, I think we at least deserve eight wins. Oh, yeah. Eight win seasons on yeah. average. But th that that's that portion. Because we for us having six wins, like we're better than that. Everyone who's a West Virginia fan knows that we're better than that. And no, not because they're biased. It's true. We deserve at least eight wins. Like, we we should show that every year, but we don't. But anyway. Yeah, yeah. we won 17 and 18, and also 11 and 15 in the conference. So not really that's not good in really the conference. That's really bad in the conference. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, but at Troy, which I'm not going to show, but I'll mention, well, he did amazing again. at Troy, even though Troy is a Sun Belt Conference team. Yeah. Thought that was Division Two, but it's no, not. Sun Belt. I always forget it's in the Sun Belt. Um, so going over his recruiting, so Neil Brown in 2020, he had an overall rank recruiting of 38, and he had a transfer rating of 71 overall, which really is not that good at all. That was basically his first full year of actually recruiting, and it was really bad. Um, 2021, he he had an overall rank of 35. He had a transfer rank of 17, so he had a pretty good transfer rating, but he had a, he didn't have a, he basically had a mediocre overall ranking. 2022, surprisingly, this was pretty bad. Uh, overall ranking 42, transfer rank rating uh, is 32. So both not that very good at all. Even though we did get a lot of good recruits, there was a lot more schools that got better recruits than us. And we'd like to mention this is where he got Nico, which is awesome. But but based on the overall ranking, he did pretty bad. Yeah. Um, then the newest recruiting class, the 2023 recruiting class, which is this next year. This stacked. Yeah. Uh, overall rank 18. There's no transfer rank because it's next year. So he did. He's done amazing so far for 2023. And obviously, these recruits, you can't say they're full commits Yeah, I was going to say, that's not guaranteed because yeah. they're not full commits. They are hard commits, but they're not full commits because you have to weigh that out. But we're gonna, we're, I'm going to tell you the top three uh, recruits he got for 2023, and then we're going to tell you our opinion on Neil Brown and everything. So yeah. the top three hard commits. Okay, number one is a four is four star Rodney Gallagher. Oh yeah, uh, wide receiver. That's a stud. He, he, he's really amazing. I'm glad he recruited. Got, yeah. he recruited, and that was probably one of the best pickups. And pick I'd up also we like do. to mention that he's a two way player, guys. I think he'll be playing on the basketball yeah. team too. So yeah, he, he is a two way player. That's crazy. I mean, he's two sport player. Like I have never seen that happen ever. So he's also so, he's also almost, cool. almost a top 100 player. 20th best in 20th best of his position in the country so really good player 
I'm really glad we got him. That was the only four star on the list so far. Second, three star Josiah Jackson. He's a cornerback, and uh, he is ranked number four hundred uh, in the nation, four hundred seventeen in the nation, and uh, position number forty three in the nation. And that'll help with so cornerback. That, that'll definitely yeah. help with cornerback. Uh, honestly, I, th- I I definitely like that a lot. It'll help our because defense we lost out. a very good cornerback in Jackie Matthews. Oh yeah. So. That's probably a replacement That's, for him. Yeah, that would really help when that when he comes around and starts. And then the last one, Josiah Trotter, a linebacker and a three star, and he is four hundred fifty four national rank and forty one position rank in the nation. Because so, why not? We always need yeah. linebacking depth. <laughs> so that was that's Neil Brown's coaching history and um, recruiting. Uh yeah. So basically. We have basically been mediocre under Neil Brown. If yeah. you look at recruiting as a, as a level, we've done really well in recent. Like, if you count 2022, which yeah. is bad overall, but we did get great players. If you look at 2023, our overall rank and also the players we're getting are incredible. So, if we if he keeps it up, and also if this year is at least like a 9-10-1 season, he is definitely improving as a coach. But as of right now, for my opinion, uh, he's he's been average. He hasn't been great. But I don't think we should give up on Neil Brown. I think that we should at least give him maybe, uh, like, like let's see what he does this year. Like, this is like his make or break year for, like, uh, how good he can do with a good quarterback, a good wide receiver. Well, well a good wide receiver, a good, um, like, we have good defensive help and stuff like that and also not a lot of the conference this year is going to be amazing like oklahoma not good texas uh they're good i mean oklahoma's gonna have a down year texas they're gonna have possibly a down year or just the same where they were so west virginia has a chance of getting a 9 10 win season and that'll definitely show if neil brown is worth it culture wise neil brown's great he loves west virginia oh, and you can yes. tell no matter what yeah. But based on his coaching but on record, the field, uh, yeah, based on his yeah. coaching record, he hasn't done great. No. But uh, I think he has the potential to do great, and I think Neil Brown has a chance to be great for us. I don't, I don't hate Neil Brown, and never hated Neil Brown. But I think he, at the time when we took Neil Brown in, I was skeptical because. I thought Dana Hogerson was the key to West Virginia. I thought Dana Hogerson was like that, really good. <laughs> uh, I don't think that anymore because Neil Brown showed that he actually can recruit at a high level, and and uh, uh, Dana Hogerson could never recruit at a high That's level. True. He was very horrible at recruiting, and he was only good at transfer recruiting. And obviously, that doesn't help in the long run. And I'm glad that Neil Brown is actually being able to do that because he has connections, and he also got us an offensive coordinator. So I think Neil Brown. Is worth it, but this year is going to be the make or break year, whether we should keep him or not. Well, but, if anybody wants my opinion, I'll give my opinion. Mm-hmm. So, last year, um, and not a lot of people know this, okay, um, but I went to, we went to signing day, okay, and Neil Brown was up there, and we walked by him, and I looked at him, and I said, hey, can you get us a 10-win season? And he looked at me, and he goes, no doubt. <laughs> and I said, I was thinking, okay, there's no way we're going to get a 10-win season. We failed that year. Yeah. <laughs> badly. Okay? We literally, I mean, we only got one win more than, uh, well, actually, we got the same amount of wins that we did the previous year. And yeah. I was like, oh, man, this is not worth it. Like, Yeah, it's, it's because of our quarterback situation. Yeah. That's why that happened. This yeah. year, that's why I think this year is our make or break year because... Uh, we have a good quarterback. At least we think we have a good quarterback. He's he's got he's injury prone. Injury prone. But if he if he if he gets injured, I think Nico still has a shot. If if not, because either way, I feel still think it's a make or break year for Neil Brown. And I think that yeah. it'll truly decide if we're good enough, especially with that offensive coordinator. So we will definitely see how he does. Well, if I can, uh, if I can uh, finish my opinion here. <laughs> so anyway, um, we had a bad year. And then I realized, okay, we have Deggy. Why does he continue to start Deggy? Like, that irritated me. He continued to praise Deggy. He continued to just shine this light on Deggy. And he was garbage. Deggy was garbage. If you remember that video, I remember saying, Deggy is garbage. And he was. 
So what did he do? He transferred, and that made me so happy. I was like, yeah, I think Deggy, so happy I think, that Deggy transferred. I think Deggy was the piece that we really didn't need, and, no. all, and also our offensive line didn't help whatsoever either. Oh yeah, our offensive but line was. If atrocious. our offensive yeah. line gets better this year, which everyone's saying they have, and we went to the game, and they definitely looked like they have. Yeah. So I think we have the opportunity of being. Really, really, really good this year, and at least having a nine ten win season. I even put it in my yeah. uh, in in the schedule video, so I think we definitely have a shot, no matter what. I it's just basically a, at a coaching standpoint of this one. If Neil Brown yeah. can coach well, he's going to have a good season this year. If he yeah. can't coach well, he's not going to have a good season. He got an offensive coordinator. He got everything he needed. He basically has everything he needs right now. So all he has to do is just show it on the field, and we will know yeah. this year. But for now, Neil Brown. I think Neil Brown has the opportunity of being a great coach at the school. He has the culture. He has everything like that that he really adores. Yeah. I just think he just needs to perform. And as of right now, he hasn't showed it, but I think he will. Yeah, and also uh, to add on to that, um, you know, he realized that he couldn't do the offense alone. And when he did that, he had Jared Parker call plays. That worked for a period of time, but then it, he realized that that wasn't going to work because then the bowl game came around and we really messed up. And then he realized, oh, maybe I should hire an offensive coordinator. That's when everything changed. Literally. We got JT Daniels. Our recruiting got better, like, in terms of, like, commits because people want to come because they're like, oh, yeah, well, they actually really need help. But Graham Harrell literally, like, fueled the fire as to everything because we wouldn't have gotten JT Daniels without Graham Harrell. I mean, you know, and we have a real shot of actually having an 8-10 to 10 win season. 8-10! to 10. That's, like, last year I wouldn't have said that. So, I mean, do I think he's worth it? Eh, we'll see. I mean, he's got a lot of work to do. Um, do I think that Dana Holgerson is a, was a good coach? He was a good coach, but uh, he wasn't that great in recruiting. Um, mm -hmm. So I feel like if he was back at West Virginia, he would just – Full, full up the like fill up the transfer portal and then we'd have like a bunch of transfers and then we'd have one good year and then the next year it would be uh, honestly really bad. I think if Dana Hogerson <laughs> was an offensive coordinator here if we didn't have Graham Harrell I think yeah. we would have done really well last year yeah but because we don't we didn't have Dana Hogerson or we didn't have anyone that was a good offensive we didn't coordinator, have a good offensive coordinator yeah we just it just didn't work out also our offensive line wasn't great yeah but either way that's the end of this video guys we we want to hear your opinions in the comments. Yeah if you'd like, uh, about how you feel about Neil Brown and how you feel about him possibly getting fired or possibly just getting an extension again. Yeah, I think if he doesn't do good with the pieces that he has, I mean, he has everything right now set up to actually be, like, real um, good in the conference because the rest of the conference is kind of lacking in terms of production. I mean, look at Oklahoma now. We have a real shot to flip that script and beat Oklahoma. I never thought I'd ever say that as a West Virginia fan, but it might happen. Um, so is he worth it? He's got a year. He's got a year to prove himself. Yeah, I well, said this last year, but this time it's really, really true because he's got everything now at this point. Last yeah. year he didn't have all the pieces put in the right direction. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. Um, yeah, we want to know your opinions. Yeah, like this video, yeah. subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the notification bell, and... Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I guess yep. you'll do your part. Yeah, now. we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, uh, we'll be having we don't we don't do like frequent videos like every single day, but yeah. we will have videos as often as possible because uh, obviously working and stuff like that just is kind of hard to edit and p post everything as quickly as possible. So we'll try to do that. I'll try to do it every other day, hopefully. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.